Hello everyone and welcome to today's webinar from Isolation to Engagement, Reconnecting in the Brave New World. I would now like to introduce your hosts, Christine Haythorn and David Von Hofen. Welcome Christine and David. And good afternoon, everyone. As Karina said, I am Christine Haythorn, the Executive Director of the Parkinson Foundation, and we are so delighted to have you with us today. For many reasons, we would prefer to be with you in person. I miss hugs. Even a handshake is a really nice thing right now. But the safety and health of our constituents is our primary concern. One thing we've learned during this pandemic is that while nothing can replace the benefits of in-person interaction, there are definitely benefits as well to virtual programming. And so please know that we will continue to use virtual programming as part of our outreach um, on an ongoing basis. Uh, before I turn it over to David Von Hofen to talk about our world-class lineup of speakers and the plans for the day, I'd like to take a moment to thank our sponsors without which this day would not be possible. We're blessed to have wonderful partnerships with our local reps from the pharmacologic, surgical, advanced, and adjunctive therapy companies who share our passion for managing through this disease with our tagline, perseverance, grace, and purpose. Please take note of our sponsors and thank them when you next see them. And now, let me introduce David Von Hofen, our beloved Director of Programs and Outreach for the Parkinson Foundation. Thanks, Christine, uh, and thank you all for being with us on this beautiful Saturday afternoon, giving us your time. Um, and I hope that this is going to be helpful and beneficial for you. Um, you know, during the past couple months, I'm sure you've all had a chance to look at a lot of online programs related to Parkinson's disease. And so many of the programs talk about, you know, how do we fare as we are in this isolation? Uh, in pandemic period. And there was very little about what happens afterwards. Um, and about the same time we started planning uh, the webinar for today, there was an article that came out in the uh, Journal for Parkinson Disease. And it was entitled, The Impact of COVID-19 Pandemic on Parkinson's. Um, and the author wrote, this was the opening sentence. It said, the COVID-19 pandemic has profoundly changed people's normal routines. And this all happened over a very short period of time. And the increased levels of stress, isolation, and decreased activity during the past few months uh, may have several short-term as well as long-term adverse consequences for individuals with PD and their families. And, and after I read that, I had this kind of analogous image in my head. Um, and, you know, being born and raised in Pittsburgh my entire life, the immediate image that came to mind was uh, driving from the West Hills area into downtown. Um, and specifically, um, driving down Green Tree Hill towards the tunnel. And, you know, the idea was it was a beautiful day. The sun's out, you know, very little traffic and um, cruising down the hill about 50 miles an hour. And then all of a sudden, what happens? Bang, you're in the tunnel. And in that moment, your whole world changes. Everything's different. And if you're a native Pittsburgher like me, what do you do? You take your foot off the gas and you go from 50 to 20 miles an hour in a very, very short period of time. The lights are different, the cars seem closer, the walls are coming in around you, and it takes a bit of time to get adjusted to the new environment. And then about three quarters of the way through the tunnel, you're kind of settled in, and then what happens? Bang! you're out on the Fort Pitt Bridge and two lanes have turned into 22 lanes, going off to the east, going to the north, going downtown, going to the Strip District. Um, and even a native Pittsburgher like me, as soon as I pop out of the tunnels, I get a little anxious, I get a little nervous. Uh, and I know where I'm going. And I can only imagine for folks that aren't natives, that maybe just traveling through the area when faced with all this stuff, they must just freeze up. And, and I wonder if that's the way folks with Parkinson's disease are feeling right now, that they've gotten used to the environment, 
Um, and coming out into this new situation can be, you know, very uh, difficult, can be challenging, you know, more stress, more anxiety, um, more apprehension about getting out and doing the things. Um, and, and that's one of the things that we hope we're going to be able to address uh, during the webinar here. We, we need some onboard navigation, right? And so our presenters today hopefully will provide you with the GPS coordinates to get out of the tunnel and back to life in good old Western PA.